my testimony. I used it to tell the people that uh, I met Jesus. In, it was 2010, October. 2010, October. It was a difficult time. It was a hard time to me. Because that time I have two kids. They were still kids. She was 12 years. Uh, he was uh, six years. It was a wrong journey. But I have a word to say now. It is Psalms 84, verse 4. Before I go through my testimony, Verse 4, it is said, Blessed are those who dwell in your house, they are ever praising you. I am happy to be here today to give my testimony and to thank God what He, he did in my life and my kids. As I said, it was 2010 when we ran from our country. Then we ran, we go to Somalia. Because that time, I, uh, I am no longer wish to be in Africa. I feel my heart was hating Africa. Then I choose to go to far away of Africa. I was thinking to change continent it will be better to me. Then I decided to go to Asia, but it was difficult to go there because that time when we ran from our, our, our home, yeah, we have, uh, we have it, any passport. We go from our home to Somalia, we use the buses, then we reach in Somalia. When we, uh, I reach in Somalia, because uh, I know from Somalia I can go to Asia country. When I reach there, it was difficult to leave that area. First problem I faced in Somalia. Because Somalia is a Muslim country, all of them. It's difficult to be Christian in their country. Then, when we reached there, I went to the market to buy something to eat. The first things they asked me because they hear I cannot speak their language. I was speaking English. They asked me, are you Muslim? I said, no. They refused me to give me everything. They said, go, go. It was difficult. Then I said, God, what I am going to do? Then I said, now I am going to start to write them that I am a Muslim. Maybe I will get help. Then when they ask me again, I go to other shop, are you a Muslim? I say, yes. What is your name? Directly, I change my name. My name is Husna. What is your children's name? She's a Hafsa. He's the Abdu. Oh, you are very calm in our country. You are very calm. They help me, even without money. They give me everything because they saw I am a refuge to their country with the two kids. Then they happy I am a Muslim. But it was a lie. It wasn't true. 
The problem of them, they will ask you, if you say, I am a Muslim, can you pray in a, some prayer in a Quran? I was saying, no, 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 I know in French, I don't know in Arabic. They say, but the whole the world is the same, because I don't have any idea about them. For them, is Arabic everywhere. <laughs> Even in Africa, they don't know Arabic. They memorize in Arabic. I say, I don't know. They say, no. When I meet some African man, I ask him, they ask me to, to say a, a, any prayer from the Quran. Say, yes, you have to learn. I read from them. Only to see how I can pass, to go to any office, to go to the market, to go to the shops. Then I ran. When they would ask me, okay, tell a prayer. So you can tell us any prayer. I say, okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah harabi alamin. I ran because I will no longer stay there. They will kill me. They are like that. No mercy if you are a Christian. Then that time I was there, I was uh, looking how I can go to Asia. I find a way. To find a way to go to Asia, they write to me because I'm a foreigner. They, they, I pay too much money to them. They promise me it will be big boat or ship. I believe to them. I pay money for myself and my kid, and my, they told me I have to take only 10 kilo of luggage. Then I have 10 kilo only, it's a few, our clothes and uh, food, because we will spend a long time in the sea, it's a Red Sea. Then day to go, they come to pick us where we were in a car. We go, they take us far away, far away in the desert. When we reach in the desert, we saw, when we, we reach there, you saw we are many, 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 many people, African. We want to go to Asia. I don't care because they promised me it will be big ship. Then that night, they say, okay. Because they afraid the police, in a, it's not a, a legal way. Then they afraid the police. That's why they hide us. Then from 11 o'clock night, they say now we can walk to the sea to take the ship. We go from 11, 12, uh, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, that whole night. Then, because from when, uh, is from my family, I have high blood pressure from when I have 20 years. Then when we reach there, I don't have any medicine. My heart, because of tired, walking, it was the first time, my heart is starting beating, then I feel tired, the whole body, I cannot move. I tell my kid, everyone has money, you have to run and go with another people, leave me. I, I choose to die in desert. They refuse, but I make it hard to her, you have to go. She ran, she understand me, she ran with another people. Kenny, my son, he was six years, he refused. He said, Mama, no, I will not leave you. I said, you have to go. He said, no. I tell him to go. He said, no. Please go. He said, no. Then because of him, I try. When I will try one step, I am like drunk, I will fall down. I can he go? He said, no, mama. Everybody was far away of us. It was night in the desert. 
Then I try, we go, I fall down. Again, I try, I fall down. When I say, no, I cannot go, you can go, run after. If you saw where they pass, run after them. Can you say, Mama, no? Then I started to cry to God. Is it me who brought the kid in this desert? What am I going to do? I am going to die. But what about to them? Who will take care of them? Where they are going? One is already going. Now I know I am going to die. But what about my son if he left alone in this desert? Then I said, please, Lord, help me. Again, I, understand. I wake up. We go. I couldn't even hear where. I was like someone I don't know where I am. I try. I was like someone drunk going like this with Kenny. Then we reach somewhere, Kenny told me, Mama, they, I saw them, they passed this, like it was a mountain, but the stones mountain. When I saw a mountain, I said, no, Kenny, I can't. I sleep down there and the mountain, there, there, where there is the stones. Then Kenny, I remember Kenny was wearing that night jeans, blue jeans. And the jacket, it was like a, uh, black and blue. It was night, you cannot see it. Then he said, Mama, let me go up. Then you will give me your hand. I can help you. <laughs> I said, okay, do it. Everything I was easy to him, but I know I am going to die. Then he go to the mountain. Then he said, Mama, look at me. Give me your hand. Even I couldn't open the eye. No. Everywhere I was sweating. I cannot hear well. Then I do this. Without, I wake up. I do this without to see him. I hear he, is, he, he saw my hand, he touched my hand. When he touched my hand, I feel something. I start like electricity coming in my body. Directly, I look up. When I look up, can he was white as snow. And I say, in my body, no. I said, Kenny, he answered me, but I saw someone white as snow. Then the director, I said, okay, I don't know even how I got to up that mountain. I, I don't understand. Until now, I don't understand. Only my mind came back, I am already over the mountain. When we reach over the mountain, I tell Kenny, Please, come, I can carry you on my, my back. I say, Mama, you will tell you cannot walk. How are you, you going to carry me? I say, come. I carry him. I was going like flying. Then I reached to, the, I reached to them. Where, where they were getting paused because all of them, they were tired, but they, they were away two kilometers of us. Then when I ran to them, even I wanted to pass it to them because I have strength. I have strength. I feel I have power. I can fly. I reach to them. When I reach to them directly, there is a car in the desert from far. Is the people who will drive, who will drive uh, the boat. When they come, the, because one was guide us the way, he has torch. He make torch like this. Then they saw the torch. They come our way. Then he told, here there is one woman and the two kids. Please take her to the sea. Then directly we go in the car. We reach to the sea. When we reach to the sea, it was about like uh, four o'clock. We wait five o'clock, coming five o'clock. When it's already, you can see everywhere. So, where is ship? It was a small boat. 
and we are hundred person something. And I started to think I will not come back that way. What I'm gonna do? It's between to go back or choose to die inside the sea. Because when I saw is this small boat and the hundred people, I said, no way. I will not come back. Also, I don't know how to go to that boat. Then I choose to go to that boat. But when I choose to go to that boat, I told the God, if you save me today, when I will reach Asia land, I will not be afraid because they are Muslims. I will kneel down. I will shout to you, thank you, my Lord Jesus. Me, myself, I said that word. Then we go to that board. From five o'clock, we reach near Yemeni land, maybe five o'clock again next day. But between that, to reach that, we have an, uh, like uh, two people, they will drive, uh, drive the boat. We are in many day park. We sit like this, this one here, one here, one here, another here, like this, because you cannot sit there. We are in many. Can you imagine how many hours you are like this with the kid? You will need the pee is there. You will need everything is there. You can't move. You move, they will beat you. They have guns. Then when we go, we are near to reach Yemen. I remember they saw one man, he was tall. He's a Somalian. They said, go, and you can see where, if you can uh, touch the uh, land. Yes. Uh, when he go inside, I never see him back. He never back. Then we continue when we reach, like uh, maybe 2,000 meter, they start to say, now you have to go down. People, they say, no, no, we can't here. There is too much water. I say, no. Then they started to put the people down, beating by force. I had, um, Apolina was in front of me. I had Kenny with me. I remember Kenny, he started telling me, Mama, can I pray? I, yes, pray. Oh God, if you forgive us today, we will not come back in your water. We did the mistake to come in your water without it to ask you, but forgive us today. Because every, me, when I was there, I have to be strong, but already I was there. I am already dead. I am waiting only. I don't know what I was waiting. Then that people, they are fighting. The two, uh, two captain, I don't know if I can call them captain because it's more shop, a ship. Uh, but then they fight each other. They started to fight each other. They said, why are you killing people? Now look how many people you kill. No, they took a gun. Go, me, I would drive them. The one was good. Then he go, he, uh, he pushed that one. He said, I will drive them. What, we left in the boat, we had a few. Another all going. Then he took us near. We go like two hours again. Yeah, then we reach where we can, you can see the land of Yemen. He said, is here the last? Oh my God, I asked to, I told them, I have many dollars. I will pay you, but try to save us so we can reach there. They say, no way, please. I tell them how many dollars I am going to pay to them. They say no because they will catch us. But they help him directly to take Kenny and they go, they never put in the land inside the water. 
Then me and the Pauline, we are inside the boat. We still only the two we left in the boat, me and the Pauline. Then I saw the wave coming. I said this wave, it, when it will come, it, it, it will sweep Kenny. Directly I jump inside the water. When I jump, is it only uh, Pauline also jump after me, catch my <laughs> my <clothes. laughs> Then we try, is it only God who saves us in that wave? The wave takes us. We saw as we are in, in the land. When we reach there, remember I told the God, I will take him even if he's a uh, Muslim land. I couldn't. I couldn't because my heart was so afraid. I wasn't there. I never remember what I told to God. Never. Then, next day, I forgot something important. When they bring us in the, before we come in the boat, because I have a small bag, but they, they help me, they carry to the, that bag. We have a bed sheet in that bag. I help one old man. It was too cold behind the sea in the morning, in the morning. I took a bed sheet to give to him to cover himself. But that man, or the man, he saved many people and he was looking at me and my kid because I gave this bed sheet. He was remember me. Then after we meet again another place, Red Cross. We can see people survive. The first time where they put them, some people survive, another they lost. So is the way I meet that old man and he told me, are you alive? I say, yes, oh my God. I thank God because I saved many people. I was looking inside the water, you and your kid, because you give me bed sheet to cover. Sometime you can do something even though it, it didn't help him, but he helped another people because I gave him bed sheet. That's why it's good sometimes. I ran from there to help anyone because you don't know where you will meet him again. Then when we reach the Red Cross, come to take us. And where we were, it was... Uh, uh, because we go to the sea, it was 7 October 2010. Ninth, ninth, it was 11 o'clock. We are sleeping. I hear a voice. It was me and Kenny and Pauline. We are sleeping. already for them. They are so tired. They are so tired. Already they are sleeping. For me, I was still thinking in my heart how, like, I hear a voice, nice voice. It was a voice of man, heavy. How many minutes left? Uh, heavy. Then I hear a voice, he said, Remember. Do you remember? Two times. I was wake up. I saw everywhere. I go outside because it's a tent. I go outside of tent to check. I saw one woman was sitting like in 200 meters. I go to her. I say, any man coming to talk to me inside? I say, no. No anyone. I came back. Devil is bad. When I came back, I never again remember what the voice told me. I sleep. I sleep. I fall asleep and I sleep well. From that day, I never remember again. If God saves me, I don't know what it happened to me. Until then you, they receive us, we go there because when you go in the country, you have to do many interviews, everything. 
I did an inter interview. Everyone was surprised to see me. Uh, they used it to see uh, Somali, Ethiopia, but it's the first time to see me, woman like me from Congo, and two kids to go in the Iran. That's why they say we will help you. Everybody was coming to see me, coming to see me, we wanted to help you, everything. Then they told me, in six months, you are going to stay in this land, then you have to go to another country. I was so happy. I did the interview. When I did the interview, the answer when is coming, they said, they reject you, you have to go back to Africa. Oh my God. I said, no, yes. Even no more help, no assistance, no anything. You have to go back to Africa. Directly when they told me they rejected me, I remember that voice. It's the day I remember that voice. Then the voice I remember exactly was God. That voice. After one month, they come to take me. I saw a car coming from the UN. They come, they say, come. We accept you. You have to appear. Then they give me appear. I pass. Then they give me paper to live in an uh, Asia country. When we live there in Yemen, we faced many, many bad things. Hateful, racism because of religion, racism because of wakara, many things. When I was renting the house, it was like a, no one I, I have never or here say about what we faced in that house. Always my kids say, we have to get another house. Why you still in this house and you can rent the house? It's not for free, you pay, find another house. What happened to me, it's what, uh, something ordinary, no. I am going to find the house. I tell my kid I find the house, we will move. When I return back home, something it will make me no, no move. You will not move in this house. I will tell my kid I change. I will not move this. Why? Why? Because we were retired in that house. In Arabic country, they have a problem of water. We will buy a tank of water together, me and the owner of the house. There are seven or eight persons, we are only three. We will share half half, tank maybe is 5,000 men of Yemen. We, we will share 2,500, 2,500. When uh, they bring water, they will take all money, all water in the, their home. We, we will have to without water. When I will ask them, we share. Why you took all water, what are we gonna use? They say, we left this more for you. Oh my God, I say, what is this? I try to be good neighbor to them. They become bad neighbor. Bad, bad, then I say, what is this? But in a month ago, God told me, when I'm here in Sweden, God told me, it was a school. I was in there, in that house. And I passed. Me and my children, that was your school. And you pass, you graduate from the, there. Because something happened, it's Maybe it will be another time to explain because I don't have time. They, they will tell a small kid. They will go to the window. They will sing, you black, you 
like is something bad, bad. See more kids, they will sing from morning till night. They will come behind my, my, my window where I'm sleeping. The owner and the kid, they will start to talk about it, black. Only they hate us because we are black people and we are Christian. But when he got it, he refused me to move with that house. He knows why. Before we left in Yemen, the owner of the house, he became Christian. Amen. Only Jesus visited him. No one, I try to be friend of them, to tell about Jesus. They don't, they don't want to hear about these things. Then I stop. But Jesus come and visit him in a dream. He's a man, he has a 79 years old. And he come, he was crying. I say, what happened, Amo? It's meaning what happened, my uncle. What happened, my uncle? He said, sorry. Sorry for everything. Why? Jesus coming to me this night. From that day, we have a peace. We have a peace. I was happy. Then, the war, they in Yemen, uh, between uh, two religions who, who um, they call uh, Sunni and Shia. It was uh, strong. They bombed, they put missile people. House was going down. We are showing me and my kid. We cry, we are afraid. I remember one day I was cooking. When I was cooking, I, how was it? I am standing. Then I started to hear, how was I am moving. I said, what? Then we are, Pah! everything was fall down. I was telling them, I am die. I am die. But they told me, you are speaking. How you die and you are speaking? Eh? Because it was, no, Everyone was screaming as he can, every house, every people, man and the woman, the kid crying. Some kid, they started to have a trauma. That time, even me, it was like a trauma because I tell them, I am dying, I am dying. They say, no, you can talk with us. How you die and you are still talking? Ah, oh, it was difficult to us. The same, God told us it was a school. Months ago, he told us, I protect you. Yourself, you saw every house, how many people you saw dying, house down. You are thinking why the missile never come in your house? Because I was with you. Now go and tell people what I did to your life, you and your kid. Because you pray to me, you cry, you and your kid. You need and crying, you asking me to take you from there to another country. Now today I bring in Sweden, you started to forget me. I give peace, I give everything. Now you keep quiet, nothing you can do. Now go. Go to tell people what I did in your life, you and your kid. And they say, yes, I really do. I hate my fault. I cannot continue to have this fault over and over. It was difficult for me to come and stand in front of people and they can give a testimony. Especially I am afraid because my English is not good. They say, how they will think, how I will say. But I tell God, you will help me with my small, my little English. You can be with me. Then God says, go and tell my people what I did to your life. And tell people to know how to thank me when I did even a small thing. We have to thank God. Yeah.
Now I am so happy to take God here. Please, everyone can come to the Lord because what he did to us. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.